Hey there, Joe Gaspard here from Joe Gaspard Performance Coaching. Today, let's talk about how to deal with your depression right now. So before we get started, I'm going to tell you something. I'm about to challenge a bunch of your beliefs. I'm probably going to piss you off. You're not going to want to believe what I say. Uh, you're going to give me the thing that pretty much everyone always gives me, and they're going to give me. You're going to give me the. But Joe, you don't know my story. Look, you're right. I don't know your story. I only know mine, and mine is filled with the same amount of probably shit that yours is, okay? You watch these videos, if you followed me at all, you know. Dealt with the health problems. So if you're saying, Joe, you don't understand, I've got this health problem. Look, both my lungs collapsed. I spent weeks and months in the hospitals. Uh, being diagnosed with a disease that was basically destroying my lungs. So I understand if you got a health problem. You know, if, you're, if yours is, you know, uh, the money problem, the, the career problem. I lost my army career to that health disease. I've been broke, lived in my car, uh, lost people I love. My youngest brother committed suicide back in 2016. My grandfather did the same thing when I was just a kid. Um, had my heart broken, been cheated on, kicked around, abused. I get it. There's all kinds of reasons you can't be happy, that you need to be depressed. But I'm telling you right now that you're talking yourself into most of your depression. Is there, you know, is there probably some stuff that's going on where you got a chemical imbalance in your brain? Yeah, probably, maybe, I don't know. I can't see in there. I can't poke around and figure it out, all right? I understand. There's some things that are uh, maybe going sideways on you. But what I'm talking about is just making an improvement. Making it a little bit better than it was yesterday, day after day. And I'm here to tell you, it's, it's, in most of it, most of the problems that we're experiencing, most of the things, most of the depressions, the illnesses, the, the psychosomatic effects, or the things that are coming in from the external environment and the way that we're allowing them to uh, change our biochemistry, okay? So look, if you're eating Doritos for dinner, and you're eating donuts for breakfast, and you're, you're just shoveling down shit food, I promise you right now, you're not creating a good environment in your body to produce happy thoughts, healthy thoughts, to make you feel good, all right? There's, you know it and I know it. You stuff a bunch of shit food in your mouth, you feel good for a minute, and then, uh, I feel like shit. If you're watching the same old bullshit television for hours and hours and hours on end every day about rape and murder and drugs and uh, incest and violence and all the crap that's on TV right now, and you're scrolling for hours on Facebook and Instagram about something stupid that the president did or uh, how the world's falling apart and all the shit that's going on in it you're not producing it and you're not taking in the things that are going to produce a, a healthy environment in your body you're hanging out uh, every night after work drinking a bottle of wine with shit people who are always talking about how terrible things are you're not taking in the kinds of things that are going to produce a happy, healthy environment that are going to make you feel good. It really is that simple. If you're just sitting around all day, every day, doing nothing, you're not moving your physical body, you're eating shit food, you're taking in all this crap information, uh, there's no way, no way on this planet that you're going to feel good and be happy and be excited and motivated and focused and determined and ready to go and make these changes and make the world a better place, make yourself better, make your family better, improve your situations. If those are the things you're doing. So look, are you gonna, is it gonna like cure 100%? Shit, I don't know, maybe it did for me. It changed my environment. Look, I've said it before. I'll, you know, I'll tell you something personal here again. I've been there. I've put the gun in my mouth, literally. That's not a figure of speech. I wanted to die, okay? The things that I did to get myself better, stop doing drugs, stop drinking all the time. Stop eating shit food. Stop hanging out with terrible people. Stop watching hours of terrible television. Stop spending hours on, you know, whatever social media platform you're on doing all these things. Okay? It really is. Most of it really is about what you're taking in from the outside and how you're processing those chemicals and that information and all of that stuff. So, look, that's all the time I have for today. If you have any questions about this, if you need any help shoot me a message and I'm going to help you in any way that I can because I don't think anybody should feel like that. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you know somebody who needs to hear it, share it with them right now. Help me spread the word, okay? Look, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.